Hello everyone, welcome back to Guarded Hearts in Christ and in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you who from a cult could approach you and where you would probably run into them. So let's read 2 Corinthians 11 verses 13 to 15. So it says, For such people are false apostles, deceitful workers, masquerading as apostles of Christ. And no wonder for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising then if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their end will be what their actions deserve. So God tells us here in his word that these people are false apostles, deceitful workers. And in some scriptures, false teachers and false prophets. Basically, men who teaches the false gospel, the gospel that is not, is contrary to what the true gospel is, and that is that we are saved only through Jesus Christ, right? That Jesus came to die for our sins. He died, he was crucified, and he resurrected after three days. So we are saved through the precious blood of Jesus Christ, right? Because he died for our sins. So that is basically the true gospel and the good news. And now we are children of God. I forgot to <laughs> say that. And now we are, and through this sacrifice that Jesus made, our precious Jesus, our precious Lord and Savior made, we are saved. We have received salvation, eternal life, um, spending eternity with God. So that is the true gospel. So here it says that um, they masquerade as apostles of Christ. So basically they act, um, well I guess they don't act, but they come teaching what seems like the true word. But when you really look and you observe and you go scripture by scripture, you realize that they are teaching um false doctrines and you know we can't do that except through the power of the holy spirit that helps us to discern um, what is true and what is false so in this video we're just going to generally look at who these people are um in the next video we'll probably go into details how they are being deceitful okay but this video is just plainly talking about who these people are and where you'd probably meet them. So the first one, which you probably know and a lot of people are familiar with, is you know a stranger approaching you on the street talking about their faith, or maybe somebody knocking on your door to share their faith. Um, so basically, strangers in public places, right? Um, sh as I mentioned, the streets. It could be a cafe. It could be college campuses i know and i've heard and read that some people go act as if they are part of a christian fellowship when they are not some are actually students they use that as an avenue but they go in disguise um they go under the disguise of a different name order than the organization so for example other than Shinchinji, they wouldn't say that they're from Shinchinji. they'll say they're from um the light bible fellowship so they disguise themselves under a different name and also um for example the group that i mentioned actually um the group that I mentioned in my previous video, um, you know, actually, when I was in Shinchinji, they went under a name called One Million Together. Now, I did mention it in my previous video, and they took it down. Then I mentioned that they took it down, then they put it back up again. <laughs> so, who knows? They might take it down after this video. <laughs> They're watching every they're, they're probably watching my video right now, you know, God bless you I pray that you know, God touches your heart and you you open your eyes to see that you're not in the place of truth But yes, they disguise themselves under a Christian name and Yeah, that is one way that they do that the second way that 
you would probably meet somebody from Xinjiang or from any cult is through online platforms such as Instagram. Now I know that two people messaged me. They didn't outrightly say that they were from Xinjiang. They just asked me if I was interested in a Bible study. That's what they usually do. They ask if you're interested in a Bible study or growing your faith and whatnot. And I did try to kind of hint at them that they should be careful. Um, but um, they politely and respectfully, you know, rejected me. And also, you know, I just told them and politely rejected their invitation. I'll now probably not receive any more messages from them because they've probably blacklisted me. But that doesn't matter because I'm on God's book of life by the grace of God. So... I don't really care. So yeah, it could be through Instagram, it could th be through Facebook, it could be through online dating. As you've heard from my testimony, I was recruited through the friendship section of um, the dating app called um, of a dating app called United Young. Uh, United Young actually did make an announcement that um, people should be aware of these groups. And also kind of kind of uh, educated them about culture groups. So that was a good thing because I was about to think that these people are from Xinjiangji because a lot of them, many of them, are on the app. Like I kid you not. When I was when I entered into Xinjiangji, I saw a lot of their faces. I was surprised. Whew. But yeah, yeah, I did. You're probably wondering, did I ever mention it to the leader? I did. Um, but th the leader was like, well, you know, people are there trying to make friends or trying to um, meet other people. But she didn't tell me that they were using it to evangelize. I found out later when I was in a small group that they were using the app to evangelize and they had to stop. But some people were still using it to evangelize and I was trying to use it to evangelize too, but I'm glad that I didn't. Um, and yeah, so um, just to backtrack a little bit to the first point, when they approach you, they'll probably ask you to do a survey or, you know, to answer a question or they'll invite you to, uh, to an event. Um, such as like a movie event, I think one flyer I saw a cooking event, New Year's event, Christmas event, any event that you could think of. Um, they have bright ideas actually. Um, yeah, the third one is um, someone that you know or that you trust would probably approach you. That could be a family, a friend, it could be um, a co-worker, an old classmate. It could be basically anyone that, you know, you know, um, as again, for me, I try to recruit my parents, thankfully. Thanks be to God, that didn't work. I know some of you have said that, um, you know, a family member tried to introduce you or your friend is part of it and they're trying to recruit you. So yeah, it could be through family or friends, sadly. Um, so you have to be really careful, you know, you have to really discern, um, really discern, ask God to help you discern, you know, sometimes we can't do it on our own, in fact, not sometimes, we can't do it on, on our own, we need to depend on God for discernment. Um, the, the fourth one is through church. Now, they do this in three ways. The first way, um, as someone told me from Xinjiangji, they would go to a church, pretend to see if they're members of the church, and during like the meet and greet, um, whether beginning or ending of the church, they'll use that um, avenue to collect people's number and kind of befriend them and tell them about a Bible study, their Bible study, and you know, recruit them into Xinjiangji. The second way that they do that, as um, 
they told me when I was in the Bible study class, in their Bible study class, they told me, the, they told us actually that pastors, right? They didn't really say specifically where these pastors are from, but I later realized where they're from when they showed us a video of the pastor test, um, basically testifying that, you know, this is the true word, which is not, again. Um, but they basically call up this pastor saying that you know they're offering free bible classes i mean which they are again it's not the true word of god okay it's not the true gospel but they tell them that they are offering free bible classes and you know they said because they're located in dc some of these pastors are so um thankful and pr appreciative um of what they're doing because no one has ever offered um free bible like classes to them you know because you know they don't have a lot a lot of money to spend on bibles um on bible school which is really sad because they tell um the congregation member the sheep that god put them in charge of to follow these teachings now i don't know if it's completely true they didn't tell us if this pastor's lead if the um these pastors left the bible study they just told us that oh there are hundreds of pastors learning the bible study they're doing a seminar with the bible study so we don't know what the results were right if these pastors discerned and um they left the the um study right so let's just pray especially for you know pastors and our leaders so that um they are able to discern the truth you know um yeah um the third way that they infiltrate the church is by becoming a member of the church and according to one of the interviews i watched from great life studio um the pastor said that the this particular person came as a member of the church befriended um one of the leader right of the department and they could also come to the point where they are actually um leaders of the department and use that to bring in um their doctrines but thankfully somebody caught on and told the pastor and yeah it ended quickly so yeah i'll put a link in the description box below if you'd like to watch more of that interview now, the last way is through non-profit organizations sin chinji and most cults they have non-profit organizations right and they use that as an avenue to bring in um to push their teachings their doctrines to push their agenda onto people so people we need to be very discerning we need to pray to god for discernment so that we do not fall into the traps of the enemy again i'm not saying this to put fear in people so that they don't talk to people or you know talk about their faith or reject you know people no i'm not doing that you know be open but yet be discerning ask god to help you to discern if what this person is saying is true or if it is false okay again and i've said it many times these people um most of them they do not know they are being deceived right their eyes have been closed right their spiritual eyes are closed they're in complete darkness they don't know that they're being deceived right um but they are being deceived and destroying many souls right they're being used as a tool for satan to destroy many souls so you know um use that in fact use the discussion to share the true gospel with them god will definitely open their eyes you know just as he opened my eyes he probably opened your eyes whoever is watching and he has opened other people's eyes he will definitely open their eyes to to see the truth now i want to say this for those who are probably scared of 
um, leaving the cult, Xing Chenji, whether it's Xing Chenji or any other cult, please do not be afraid. It's better to leave there being scared, not knowing anything like what's next than to continue to stay there in deception because the end is destruction okay the end is destruction and for you to continue deceiving souls while knowing that you are being deceived is a very dangerous place to be my friend again the bible says what what let's read what the bible says it says their end will be what their actions deserved right and in one scripture it says um they bring upon themselves swift to destruction you know every soul is precious in god's eyes right every um every soul is precious to god so you knowingly know that you're in a cult and yet you are bringing other people into that same cult you're destroying their lives and you're also destroying yours so please do not stay there if you already know run as fast as you can you know god is with you god is protecting you and god will definitely um bring you out of whatever um teachings that you were receiving you know um yeah god will save you he saved me and he saved others again as i mentioned so he will definitely save you trust in him in the next video i'll be talking more about you know false doctrines what they are and what manner are these people being deceitful what makes them deceitful according to the word of god so yes 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 i will see you in the next video bye